Proxmox VE is an enterprise grade hypervisor, but the company has kindly allowed us to use it for free. Now that's great for lab servers, for example, because then you can actually run Proxmox VE without having to take out a subscription. Having said that, you do get reminders if you log in or check for updates when you do not have a valid subscription. Now, that is great for a production environment, for instance, because, well, if the actual subscription has expired, then you can go and give the bill payer a nudge. But in a lab environment, not so much. So how do you actually disable those subscription notifications if you don't actually want them? Well, if that's something that you're interested in finding out, then stick around and watch this video, because that's what we'll be going over. Now I'm running Proxmox VE in a lab, and I don't particularly feel the need to have access to technical support or enterprise patches when I can actually get the non-subscription patches for free. But bear in mind, this is a lab. If this was a production environment, the situation would be completely different. In any case, when I actually log into this server, what we get is a reminder that you don't have a valid subscription, and that's going to happen every time you log in. Now, I know about that. Uh, a one-off reminder would have been fine, but in this case, it happens every time you log in. Not particularly that big of a problem, but it can be a bit annoying. In any case, if we go over to Updates, click on Refresh, again, you get a notification to say you do not have a valid subscription. So even though this server is set up to not even try to get access to the enterprise patches, and it only connects to get access to the non-subscription patches, I still get a reminder there as well. But it is actually possible to disable those notifications. Now that notification is actually being triggered within a JavaScript file. And it is possible to actually edit the file and change its behavior. So for that reason I've opened up an SSH session to Proxmox VE here because I want to do some copying and pasting because it's going to make my life a whole lot easier. So I'm pasting in a line here to switch to the actual folder where the file exists. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an actual backup of the existing file just to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to use nano so that we can edit this file. Now, what I need to do is to actually look for a line in here. So I'm going to use control W so I can search. And then I'm going to paste in the line. So that's if then a space open bracket res space equals equals. Then I'm just going to hit return. And this is the actual statement that we want to change. The one that's actually deciding if you've got an active um, subscription or not. So I'm going to delete everything between the brackets here so that I can change the actual result. So I'm going to change this to false. That way the statement is always false. I'm going to use control X to exit, yes to save, then hit return to write over the existing file. Now we've made some changes to that file, but we need to actually restart the PVE proxy service uh, for this to take effect. So we'll do that. Now, bear in mind, this only affects this one server. If you've got a cluster within your lab, for example, it's not going to replicate out. You've got to go around each individual actual node within that cluster, for example, or any other lab server that you've got uh, running Proxmox VE and do the same thing. You've got to change that JavaScript on all of those actual servers. Now, another thing that I've done is to log out of Proxmox VE. I also closed the web browser. And now I've started it back up and pointed it back over to the actual Proxmox VE server. Now, this time, if I log back in as root again, what we'll see is, well, there is no notification about having no valid uh, subscription for this. If I go over to updates here, click on refresh, it's just going straight across to check if there are actually any updates for Debian or Proxmox VE itself. 
in this case they're on but the key point is we're not getting that notification anymore now what i've found in the past is that if all i do is just log out and then log back in again the actual notification can pop up sometimes if i refresh the browser that resolves the issue but one surefire way seems to be to just close the web browser entirely and start again either way those actual notifications have now gone the only thing to bear in mind is that when upgrades do come out chances are that file that we've got at the moment will be overwritten now i wouldn't recommend keeping a copy of that actual file so that you can replace whatever you get after an upgrade because there might be modifications within the file there might be new lines within the file in which case it's better to just go through this process again of modifying the actual file to disable the actual uh, check to see if you've got a valid subscription that does disable the actual checking process and in which case well then you don't get these notifications at all so as you can see it is possible to disable those notifications certainly not something you want to do in a production environment so if this is something you'll be thinking about then you want to reserve it for lab environments where it's not so crucial now if you find this video to be useful then do consider subscribing to the channel as that would really mean a lot to me but it's also a good indicator to let me know how videos like this are helpful to people such as yourself that are watching in which case thank you on the other hand if you're not ready for that level of commitment then i'd really appreciate it if you could press the like button because that way that will help to get the video out to other people that might find it useful as well